First, let's look at key structures of the mounting tool and line sensors. Two fins on the back of the U-shaped upper arm. Four pressure springs. There are four spring baffles on the tool, which are used to fix the four pressure springs of the line sensor. Two protruding screw nuts to jam the fins, keeping the U-shaped upper arm open. Two metal buckles controlled by spring to fix the line sensor while it is being removed, and the yellow buckle inside the silver metal block to assist removing the line sensor. For demonstration, the insulation rod is not connected. First, screw the yellow buckle completely into the silver metal block. Open the upper arm of the line sensor and align the fins with the notch of the two protruding nuts. Place the line sensor into the mounting tool. Use a spring winch to hook the four pressure springs respectively and use the spring baffle to trap the springs. The line sensor is now fixed in the tool and ready to be mounted. Imagine this is the power line. While mounting the sensor, make sure that the nameplate arrow points to the load side. Align with the line. Push up gently until the four spring baffles bounce off. After they pop off, the mounting tool falls off and mounting is completed. First, unscrew the yellow buckle off the silver metal block. Clip the spring onto the screw below. Adjust the pressing plate. Make sure they bounce and can be pressed down freely. Align the metal block of the mounting tool with the nameplate of the line sensor. Load the line sensor vertically upwards to get it clamped. Then pull down the tool until the sensor is off the power line. Now the line sensor is removed. Finally, remove the fixed spring and then take out the line sensor.